My name is Johnson. I'm a mechanical engineering student and presenting alongside with me is Therese, who is a nanotechnology engineering student. And we're super excited to talk to you about a project that we've been working on in coordination with the Management Sciences Department, which is a pizza kitchen simulation. So let's get started. So you're probably wondering why exactly we made a kitchen uh, pizza kitchen simulation. And we know that the reason why is because in Management Sciences, one of the core research areas is the optimization of business processes and how it's so essential for success. And we wanted to figure out a way to enable students to see firsthand how human error, bottlenecks, and congestion impacts the efficiency of a company, and particular, particularly in a production line, because we know that increased efficiency leads to increased productivity, which leads to increased profits, which is what companies are always trying to maximize. So with, the, so with this pizza kitchen simulation, we wanted to figure out a way to let the students manipulate certain variables so this can include like the time and duration that they spend at different parts or sections in the production line process in order to actually see um, how these bottlenecks and congestions form and the fact that the students are able to control the workers in the simulation also introduces human error into the system so i'm going to hand it off over to Therese to get more into the specifics about how exactly we developed this in the game itself so the setup of the game involves two monkeys and they are working in a pizza kitchen and they go through each station making their own pizza, which they then have to put into the oven and deliver. Each station has wait time that can be modified by the students to optimize the simulation. And there are four ovens in the kitchen and students can also choose how many of these they want to use. So these are both ways that congestion can be introduced into the game and decrease the overall efficiency. For example, four ovens and very fast timers, there's opportunity to deliver many pizzas. This will likely result in many burnt pizzas and a huge loss of efficiency. Human error is introduced into this game firstly because each student needs to control both monkeys at the same time and this can be hard to multitask. Another source of human error is introduced if they do not deliver the pizza within the time limit. So as you can see there are lots of components to think about when students are setting up their kitchen and it's expected that they will need to experiment with changing these variables around in order to achieve overall productivity. So we have a game demo for you. Great, so as you can see here, each monkey has a color-coded arrow that they need to follow, and that's just to represent that they're each completing their own pizza throughout the kitchen. And once they complete one pizza, they are free to move on and start another one. These um, station timers, um, all of the station timers of so the clock that you're seeing here are set to specific values just for the sake of demonstration, but they can also be changed by students. So as you can probably see here, it's getting a little bit congested. And when they go around this time, they're gonna have to wait for an oven to be freed up. Either one of the monkeys must overlap with those red arrows to deliver each pizza before it's burnt. And if they do not overlap with the red arrow in time, the pizza will burn and that burn count in the top right corner will go up, which you'll see here in one sec. All right, there we go. Awesome, thank you for our presentation uh, and I'm thank you for listening in.